This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at two large language models based on AMA 270 billion parameter model. Um, these models are currently topping the Open LLM leaderboard. Uh, so Open LLM leaderboard aims to track, rank and evaluate large language models and chatbots as they are. Okay. So the first one is from Upstage, currently the leader over here. Right, and if you go to the model card, uh, it is Llama 270 billion parameters instruct fine tuned from whatever is uh, over present over here. It has a non commercial creative commons license, fine tuned checkpoints are present over here, and uh, what details are present. So, the data set is, is Orca styled data set. Okay, and the prompt template is this system user assistant where we put our user query. And this is tested on an A108 graphics card. It can handle up to 10K plus input tokens. And they have code over here. Okay. Uh, are there any further details over here? That's what you see. The evaluation results. Actually, own this repository for the evaluation bit. And um, yeah, not much details are given on the data set or anything. Okay, so this is one model which you can try it out, but yeah, it has a non commercial uh, Creative Commons license. Okay, the other one is from Stability AI, it is called as Stable Beluga 2. It is also a Llama 2 70 billion model fine tuned on an Orca styled data set. Uh, they have given the code over here. What is the license? Any details are present here. Uh, this is stable Beluga non commercial community license. Again, looks like. This. And uh, this is developed by Stability AI. And what they say is that it is also trained on an internal. Orca style data set. Okay, right. And uh, what else do this here? So this has a blog over here, right? From Stability AI, um, they say talk about Stable Beluga one and Stable Beluga two. Stable Beluga one is trained on the original Llama 65 billion foundation model, um, whereas Stable uh, Beluga 2 leverages the Llama 270 billion foundation to achieve industry leading performance. Both are for research experiments released to foster open research under a non commercial license. Okay. And they are trying to see that the model remains polite and harmless. So they are also making use of this Orca style data set. And they have used just 10% of the data set size compared to the original Orca paper. Now, what is this Orca, uh, Orca style data set? The Orca style data set is about, you know, uh, making use of chat GPT as a teaching assistant and creating your data. Right. Um, so that is uh, what is the uh, original Orca style, uh, you know, uh, what they do is that in Orca style data set, if you look at uh, this particular example, uh, you know, what they do is that they get explanations from chat GPT, right? So you have a, a particular question and you have a response, ground truth. Now they augment this response with chat GPT explanations for this response, okay? As well as GPT-4, and then they fine tune on this particular data, okay, whereby they augment the uh, query, uh, what do you call uh, task uh, query with responses from uh, you know explanations from Chat GPT for the response. Okay, so that is the Orca style data set. Okay, so that is what uh, paper talks about. Right. Um, so this is an interesting paper. I have made a video on this paper as well. Of this video, check it out. Um, so the idea over here is that learning from complex explanation traces of GPT. 
compile it as well. Okay, so this Orca learns from read signals from GPT-4, include explanation traces, by step thought process, complexes. So over here with both stable Viloga as well as with upstage Lama 2, they used this type of a data set. And that's what they claim has resulted in up this higher accuracy open LLM leaderboard. You can also try out these board present here. Probably you require an graphics cards to run to load it in. Right. I hope you like this short video on these models which claim to be there's in the open currently. This keeps changing dynamically every now and then with your the other new model based on LAM2. How much this is practically useful in terms of your tasks is experiment with and see. Right? And sometimes these licenses also are restricted or from a commercial purpose but from a research purpose you can try out these models and see if it can improve your tasks fine tune these models and see if they work for your task i hope you like this video if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video